Man, I really am doing a lot of these these days. I'm just on a kick. Uh, so Vlad Koblitsky messaged me on YouTube and said I should check this out. Uh, so he's the one who made that Bioshock-esque Doom Shock map that I played a while ago, which was excellent. This is Meat Grinder. It says, how deep in the bowels of a sick mind can you submerge? Four lies. This is a horror map. Uh, it looks like he's used quite a bit of those objects, which is always a great thing in my view. I love simple, but I do love that little um, thumbnail right there. So I'm excited to see what this is. Uh, as always, I'm sure I'm going to be drawing comparisons between this map and the other horror maps I've played and the horror maps that I've made, namely the Derelict series. Hopefully it's not driving you guys crazy at this point. I'm very excited to see what this is and what sort of, what flavor specifically of horror we are going to encounter. As in, I don't know if we are going to be uh, powerless or if we are going to be well armed. Um, I don't know how much the horror is in the experience versus the environment. Um, I'm very curious to see where this goes. I'm not sure if we're going to see a psychological aspect a la uh, Nectar. But hopefully without exploding guys that one-touch you. That would be my hope at the very least. Um, nice quick load. Okay. Could use some neutral tones to start off. Oh. Follow as designated. Fallen research spaceship contains data valuable to the UAC. Infiltrate the ship and retrieve that data by any means necessary. Last scan shows that the crucial parts of the ship was set on lockdown by the ship's AI system. Follow as designated. Cancel the ship's lockdown from the main CPU room. Shut down life support system of a test subject held in the sarcophagus located on deck A1. An odd, <laughs> an odd directive. Download the crucial data from the TELUS, telesthetic amplifier located on deck B2. Abandon ship. Any side research data found on the ship is a top secret property of the UAC and must be returned upon arrival. It's a clever way of showing that there's going to be um, logs and such. So this is, immediately, this is great. That ship looks awesome. I don't know why the fire is blue, but it's interesting tell that he intentionally designed where the moon is going to be. I'm really loving this this uh, rock face here. I might have to make use of things, something similar later on. It looks like it's some sort of mineral <laughs> like deposit kind of thing. You get a picture of this weird... I think it's just a landing leg, but it makes it look like a, like a weird techno crucifix. Oh my god. That's amazing looking. Great. Great use of dark and this blue lighting here. How exactly is that blue being? There's flashing lights and glowing decals. Oh, those are old decals, but you can't tell till you get real close. They actually look very <laughs> nice. Okay. Now, what are those? Oh, there are other other old. Interesting. You can see how he made some uh, custom cargo boxes by combining a few of these. Looks really good. All right, not bad, Vlad. Well, let's get in here. I really wish that they made it where the teleport... I, I, I don't know why they didn't make it where you couldn't determine if the teleport flashed and made the noise or not. I, I don't know what they were thinking. Oh, jeez. I'm sorry I missed that, Vlad. Oh. I'm loving this hallway. Yeah, this is one, a lot of custom geo. You know I'm gonna stop and look around at this. Okay. Jeez. CPU. Let's get, whoa. That looks great. I'm just getting tons of screenshots on this one for whatever reason. That's a great little bit of, look at that. Look how good that looks. Can't get the B2. I, I have to go to CPU first. I'm just kind of looking around. I wonder. Okay. The 
this looks like it probably leads to a secret somewhere, but I'm not going to mess around with it too much. I don't want to break the tension, so let's keep going. Yeah, these hallways are just fucking great. Good job, lad. Jeez. Great. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, because I don't have the weapons for them. Oh. Great use of these, uh... These... Adactus, like, shield walls and stuff. It just looks pretty good. Oh, I have a rifle. I don't know why I didn't check for that sooner. Alright. Oh. This looks like, uh, makes me think of Halo and the Covenant. All these curves and lit up things with these panels. External damage, lockdown in effect. God, look at this. Look how good these look. This just series of panels. Imagine if we had more than just a couple of these options to choose from. That looks so good. That looks so damn good. to those sound effects, limiting our motion. Um, not a big fan of the classic Doom guy screaming sound effect. That's not exactly on Vlad, that's just, we don't have very many options. Ah, oh, damn it, that was a waste. Alright. I thought this was going to open to like a bloody hallway or something. Kind of. Wait, there's a log here. How did I miss that the first time? Did I miss that the first time? There's been another. There's been other reports of the following crew members gone missing on the ship. Doctor Jan Jonathan Ishi, research specialist. Sergeant Thomas Kelly, head of the deck. A head of the deck two. Head of the deck B two security team. Engineer Simon Garlic, CPU maintenance, maintenance Division. Additional sweep of all the ship's areas has been made with no signs of the missing crew found. A request has been sent by me for immediate advice from the board on the upcoming events. Until the reply, stay on your toes and keep your people on track. I'm receiving reports of the screaming and unidentified mechanical sounds coming out of the walls. Last thing we need right now is the staff going crazy. <laughs> yeah, these are always fun to write, aren't they? Um definitely made use of my own. Okay, let's go down this thing. <laughs> you know, when you get up close, it's obvious this is the old, but looking right here, it, it's good looking. Wait. Oh my god. What the hell screenshot am I going to use for this one? I have no idea. Of sound. That actually made my skin crawl a little bit. There's the sarcophagus. Oh, that's messing with me. Okay. Oh no, I'm gonna. fast now. I'm definitely in a goop hallway. Oh my. I love it. Hey, nice job trying to make this look like an actual waterfall. Actually, it looks pretty good. That's that. Why have I not done that? Damn it. I love all these good snap mappers. So you can see that's the, um, that's that decal I love so much. 
but you can see it, it, I hadn't even thought that if you stretch it, it looks like a flow of slime, like like Ghostbusters 2 or something. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Did he do this? I think he did this in Doom Shock too. Man, I don't even remember this music track. It's used so rarely. This particular cutting of it, I mean. It sounds great. I haven't even seen a single thing. Ugh. Okay, I'm not gonna go out there yet, because I want to get that goodie. be wondering what the fuck this is all about. Well, my friend, what you are experiencing right now is a brilliant achievement of the human mind. Our own little world, motherfucker. <laughs> Didn't the suits that sent you here explain the real deal? I bet you've been tasked to retrieve the knowledge which allowed the dream to come true. Well, many have tried. Their guts are being grinded right now over and over again. Tell you what, you're armed to the teeth, but do you have the balls to battle through this nightmare? If you do, come and try to find me. Together we have the chance to prevent that shit from spreading all over the world. Huh. You see, his powers are growing, and if you will be a dog to the suits, there might become no home to return to. I don't think I can get back up that way, can I? No, not even close. This music's a really good choice. got the parkour in me now. After falling my face ten damn times on uh, uh, that one quick doom level. I don't know why he didn't center me there. It's a minor detail. It's just, I don't know why you wouldn't. Did those start and stop as a trigger? Or is that just... Interesting how these are staggered. Metal looking. Let's see if this ladder here. And I'm getting a lot of little goodies lying around for uh, not really being much about. Damn it. So I will say that, ooh. A couple, negative is not the right right thing to say here. Goodbye. Oh, God, I misjudged that. I was one too close. I don't know why I did that. Um, one, not negative, but type of horror this is. Um, once the fighting has started, I have not been scared at all. Which is, I mean, I don't know, I guess I haven't. Oh, that's clever. Very nice. I don't know why I've never thought to do that. Like, actually use this prop to... I don't think it's going to do anything. I'll probably have to turn that off elsewhere. Oh. Uh, but then again, it's hard to make combat and doom scary. The, the way that I tried to do it, or at least scary is not the right word, but feel like 
you were actually in danger and there's tension. I tried to do that in the derelict by limiting your speed and your ammunition capacity and making you not quite as busted as you're used to being. Not quite the, you know, demon destroying monster. Um, and I think that goes a ways. Wait, ah. God, good use of lighting. It's very hard to see, but it's kind of neat. Damn it, I think he was already shooting. God. I keep my eye on both of these guys here. Kill at least one of them. They don't. Oh, I have a plasma rifle. I suck. Although I will say that my fancy filigreed plasma rifle kind of <laughs> undercuts the the atmosphere here. This is an interesting. Oh, I just try, try to turn my flashlight instinctively. We've been playing um, Evil Within two recently. Oh, I made it. I got the big gun. Wait, E. What kind of E? Is kind of E this? I can turn that off, but I want to go this way. Through all the. Oh. Oh my god! Hardened. Bringer of death, arm to the teeth. How's the trip? Put me in your pocket or leave me be. Oh my, this is brilliant. Why have I never, oh my god, that's. <laughs> Jokes aside, we're in, okay. Our lab rat has gotten out of hand, now he's a dream world for never being tortured by less fortunate comrades. Okay. Lucky for you, there's no god in here, but some sort of a king, or he's no god, otherwise you've been screwed, screwed already, so okay. Um, must destroy the meat grinder's engines. We'll stop it and attract his attention. First of all, I'm super jazzed that there's going to be like a horrible torture device kind of thing that we're going to blow up. It makes me think of, um, uh, why am I forgetting? A, a Machine for Pigs, which was that Amnesia sequel. I played through it a while ago, and it was satisfying. But I have to admit, the, the the macabre side of me was a little disappointed that you didn't actually see very much at all of, like, a machine that was, like, grinding up sacrifice. Like, the whole idea was... Spoilers, I guess. Sorry. Uh, the whole idea was, like, mass produce, Like, like um, industrial, um, factory-level human sacrifice. Uh... Which is a, a, like a, just a brilliant little concept that just has so much you can do with it in terms of spook factor and such. And I think that they really only kind of half delivered there. Like you see some bodies being like slid around, you see like a little conveyor belt, but you just don't see very much that. Um, and you, you read about a lot of neat stuff, but you don't see as much as I think could they could have done to be really interesting here. This is neat. Um, so I know that we have a lot fewer tools. That's spooky. I, I know it's sound effect that isn't, it's still spooky. I love it. God, I don't know if I'm going the right... Jeez. You hear that? It's awesome. I would have added in some non line fire in here because they just look so... Like, you can see where the, the line is. They don't look organic in the slightest. I, I definitely would have put some of the more natural looking fire in here somewhere. As I say this, I'm sure he's going to, but I was just noting in my head that um, he hasn't taken advantage of actually spooking me during all these places where he's forcing me to walk a certain way, or a certain speed, or like right now not have any control. 
uh, where you have limited mobility. He hasn't really taken advantage of that yet in any significant ways. This is cool. It's a good way of creating these little furnace effects he's got going on here. Um, but I'm very curious to see what he ends up doing with that. God, I can't tell. Am I going the right way? Am I progressing? Like, I'm not mad. I, I, I want to make sure I don't miss stuff is the only reason I'm concerned. I want to make sure I don't miss out on... Oh, no. Is this a logic puzzle? Or is he just... Yeah, this looks very much like a machine for pigs. I also like how he's... You can see how he's using the music to really cue when stuff's happening. This really does feel like just an industrial nightmare. Damn it, I didn't mean to fall down here. I suck. Oh! Damn it! God, you really just get no time to kill Cacodemons. There we go. Oh, God! Glad that wasn't a hit that would kill me. Okay, here we go. I know this is where I came from, but I just want to get a, a screenshot of this. Like, I, what do I? What the hell is going to be my screenshot here? There's like a whole hit down that way. Oh. Oh! That's why I wasn't sure. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello! That's why I wasn't sure I was progressing, is because uh, they lead me to the same place. It's a neat way of handling it. It's a little halt. Like, I like these little small details, like these walls that shouldn't be weird gore stuff. What smoke is that? Oh! You know what this is? Yeah, he's using actual smoke, or he's using actual. Uh, Looks great back here. Like it's actually steam. When you get in close, it sounds stranger because it's so localized. I actually could have just gone the other way. Whatever. I wanted to go down this thing. So now I've got a saw it off. So now uh, nothing is going to scare me. Because I have, you know, the SSG. So we are always Gucci. I'm not going to apologize for anything. Ow, oh, damn it, I suck. Okay. So no, that's on me, just being... Not being very cautious. Okay, so... I can go that way, but there's still more stuff to do here, isn't there? I feel like... There's that... Oh, I went full circle. Okay, good. Very good. Uh, it, it, that's also nice that the game is sort of, like, he's designed it where it kind of forces you to encounter all of the stuff he's made. Which is honestly how I'd want it to be, and I went this way already. Okay. Sorry, I was curious what was down there. There it is. Ha! That's coal! Oh. Oh, jeez. shoot that, but first I'm going to walk around here. The one downside is that this coal, or what he's turned into coal, like very obviously sticks out. It doesn't, light doesn't behave on these in the same way it does other things. Oh. It's kind of neat. I don't know why there's bullets and health in the coal, but you know, I'm not going to ask questions right now. All of this redstone. Oh wait. Ah, ha, ha. That's not it, but... Oh, shit! Maybe that was it. <laughs> Alright. Oh, 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 turn red! Turn red! 
No, don't go into the light! Oh. It, did I? Ah. Nice. Good use of flashing lights there. <laughs> the hell am I looking at here? God, you hear that? You hear that machinery? Oh. That's the sarcophagus. Oh! Oh! It opened up. There's a creepy-ass thing in there. I can't see it very well. Oh, I can shoot him, so let's shoot him. Nice. Very good. Oh, wait, is this hurting me? Got all of them. Oops. Oh, it looks like he does actually have a damage threshold. He's not just a number of hits. What is this guy? Oh, I suck. Nice. 30, 15, and... Oh, that sucked. Stab! That's my absolute favorite one for the uh, Hell Knights. God, that thing has so much bigger range than I thought it did. Looks like the Cacodem is running in this little logic problem he gets sometimes where he uh, just sort of flies upwards constantly. Ooh, that's a good sound. Also, these like doorways are coming out of, like, look how good that looks. I could use that as my screenshot. So, oh, yeah, so I'm not done with him now. Oh, God, that hole is just full of gore. The aesthetic amp amplifier in the ship keeps that faster sonic force in It's getting stronger. Okay. I will say, um, this is a minor kind of writing thing. It'll be a great bounty on your head. And, and some of this, admittedly, is that Vlad is, um, letters are low, so I'm turning off. Plug me into the main terminal in the CP room if you care about the humanity. Oh, well, I'll save him. I'll be a nice guy. Oh! Looks pretty cool in here. So I don't know what the negative of going to save him is, aside from just not having to do the, the run. Oh, it makes sense to have his ammo here now. Maybe that's one of the positives, is if you go this way you get ammo. <laughs> so I'm gonna go save this guy, plugging him in. That's so good. I like how the spawn effect makes him actually look 
like he is floating there. Okay, blow it up. You can do that. <laughs> Alright, I will say this. Or this is what I was saying before. This is like a minor writing critique. Um, and some of this is that, to my knowledge, Vlad is not a native English speaker. I'm impressed he can do as much as he can, if that's if my understanding is correct. Um, I'm 90% certain the Dark Sniper is Russian, I think, or, or thereabouts. Maybe I should throw out in general. I, I can, I'm sure I can look it up pretty easily. I'm sure it's on his profile or something. Um, one or both of them is, is my understanding. At any rate, um, so, so, so some of my critique is should bear that in mind, but I think that if you have characters swear too often in the wrong, I shouldn't say the wrong context, but some of those ways it sounds, some of those, some of these places so far it sounds a bit, um, like, like it weakens things a bit, like it's trying to be adult as opposed to actually being adult. It's the kind of thing I notice in TV shows, I'm not just throwing this shade at Vlad at all, and really, like, good writing is very, very hard to do. Um, that's just a minor bit of critique, since since writing is a, a key part of this. Um, oh, cool. Something about seeing this room with this Revenant actually makes him spooky. I don't know why. Just in the context of everything else, I guess. Man, I'm sure a lot of people would complain about the lack of lighting in here, and every now and then it's getting to be a little rough, but for the most part, I think it's... I think it's well done. I think it's a net positive for the for the map. Okay. Deal with him soon. Uh oh. Doors are nice too, very, very simple. I'm about to die. Yeah, I'm about to die. There's no way. Oh god, why did I walk into that? I knew the second that I jumped I was walking into it. Come on! Oh! Oh Jesus! Haha! <laughs> I got him. He just froze in a weird way. Can I hit you to the cheese with the floor? That's pretty cool, by the way. Too bad I don't have the auto detonating one. I'm just gonna cheese these guys a little bit because uh, I'm so very fragile right now. Oh, that's. Really pretty. Is that a gear, I assume? Huh! Oh, look at this! Look how he's combining things to make these boxes different. It's really, uh, there's some good stuff there. Okay. This is just a neat, like, this is all just. Oh, and that's two of those tables with a box between them. This is great work. Okay. Reset power. Oh, those things turn blue. Okay. So it looks like I fixed the power. I don't know why the lights aren't on, but it's whatever. Hey, the blue key. I got the blue key. I will say I'm a little sad the blue key is just like here and not like on a guy or locked in something. But again, you know, there's not a whole lot in this map to complain about, so I feel like that's kind of nitpicking. Um, I guess that that is a thing that could have been done to make it, you know, a, a tiny bit stronger. Um, so it doesn't feel le like it doesn't break the immersion and say, hey, you're in a game, because you walk through this door, now you get this thing. 
These are fucking cool, though. That's great. Man, like, this is... There's so much good stuff in some of the maps I played recently, uh, this one included, that I feel like if I go back to my you know, Derelict series, it's going to be impossible for me not to use, intentionally or unintentionally, some of these ideas. But whenever I do, I'll you know, try to acknowledge however I can. I'm not going to put a credit in that, like, moment of the map. Ah, this is getting to a silly place. Hold on. Oh. Why? Yes, please. Oh, I think I broke that and it opened that. I'm an idiot. Yeah, I just, I didn't do that correctly. Wait a minute. So I have to go... Hold on. Yeah, because there's the blue thing down here. So now I got the rail gun. I have got a lot of Shoot that big blue orb and get the fuck out of here. Okay. Oh god. Oh god. Holy shit. Oh god. I can't see. I got him. Damn it. I knew I fucked up there. God, I just, I knew I should have waited a second for him to jump. Oh, wait. Oh, big blue orb. Oh, the first one to kill these guys. Got him. Got he. <laughs> I didn't say that. Okay. God, there's those big healths I could have gotten and everything. Just look at this. This is what you can do with a bit of creativity, an eye for detail, and a few good assets. Armor, I do want the armor. Sorry for the delay, just uh, thought that's what I was gonna shoot, actually. I like how it turns like a sharp blue when I shoot it, or I guess it's just a flash around it. Oh, which way is this way? Oh god, okay. Shit, this way? Yeah, I'm just going the same way. My only critique is that this is echoed. It's it's so like regular. There's, whoa! I took a lot of screenshots. Probably don't need to have taken. Yeah, you know how do I get out of here? Ah, crap! I forgot to go get him. I probably had time to. Two possible endings. Damn it! I didn't even think about that. I well, he says two possible endings, and I wonder if one ending is not putting him, not keeping him alive, like not putting him on the computer thing at all. If one ending and ending is putting him in there and then getting him on the way out, I didn't even think of that. Or if the other, or if the, um, are there two or three endings, I guess is what I'm saying. Um, at any rate, that was great. I'm curious how different the two endings are. Um, I'm a number one. That was, uh, that was got, that was really good. That was, that was very, very good. And it, it had a very unique style. Like you saw how it was just, it was light and dark super high contrast um there wasn't a whole lot of ambient uh uh like lamp light it was it was 
it was uh, that's not the word I'm looking for. There, 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 there was a lot of ambient light. There, there was not a lot of like floodlight, full room lighting kind of going on. You kind of had to track by silhouettes half the time. Um, and it was certainly very neat. It really made me think of uh, there was an era in gaming where I think they would often do like alien temples and stuff or alien spaceships, and they were often like that, where they were. Um, all this lit up circuitry and things like that, and that's how you could see around, and all the rest was there weren't really, it wasn't natural lighting, or there wasn't, it wasn't like anyway, uh, so that was very, very good um, I would say the only time I was really spooked for a second was when that sarcophagus first kind of showed up uh, that was kind of a neat little moment the light turning on on it and stuff uh but you know, it doesn't have to, It was it was very much a good experience. It was a neat sort of little thriller thing. The combat was fun. Uh, the setting was was great. Pacing was was solid. The dialogue I think could use work, but that I think that's honestly a pretty high bar for these kind of things. Um, I don't know. That was great. I I am glad I played it. Glad you did a great job. So, yeah. Uh, pretty much good all around. So I'm looking forward to getting back and do some more of these again. I'm getting that energy for it again. I might even work, go back to work on some of my old maps. Um, I've got a few lined up, and I know that people are still submitting a few, so I'll get to those when I can. But until then...